Hi and welcome. My name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to go ahead and look at the idea of splitting screens within Microsoft Excel and we'll look at two ways to do this. We'll look at how to script it, split a screen vertically and horizontally as well as split it in multiple uh, screen. So essentially, whether you want to split it in two levels or four levels, we'll look at how to do that. So with that, let's get started. All right, so in the last video, we went ahead and learned a little bit about the idea of freezing panes. If you want to freeze a pane, you would go to the review tab. And by review tab, I mean view tab. Once you're in the view tab, you would go to freeze panes, and you could either freeze uh, specific panes or freeze your top row or first column. Now, when you freeze, say, your first top row or your first column, when you scroll down, essentially, you just have one, uh, you have one group of data, and it's just that row or that column that's frozen. I'm going to unfreeze that. Splitting, however, is a little bit different. So if you were to, say, place your cursor here in the middle of your data, so here on row 10, and you wanted to essentially create two mini split screens or two individual abilities to scroll within your data, you would do that by placing it here in that first that first column. And then you would go to split. And you'll notice that there's this little line that appears in between your data. Now it's essentially split after row nine. So between row nine and 10, you now have two individual scroll bars. So you have one scroll bar here and a second scroll bar here. And what's interesting is you can actually go ahead and look at the same set of data. So we have Jack, Tim, and Yvonne, and then here we have Jack, Tim, and Yvonne. And we can use this to scroll down, or we could scroll up and scroll down with our data. So essentially we have two split screens. And the way that we did that was by, let's first unsplit it. The way that you would unsplit it is by coming anywhere between that, that row that divides it, that of the row nine, and you double click and that would remove the splitting. So if you want to split something vertically, you would come and make sure that your column here is anywhere in your, or your active cell is here in your first column. Let's say that we want to split it after row 10. You would place it here, therefore, in cell A11, and you would go to split, and it would split it vertically. Once it's split, we have two individual scroll tabs. Now, if you wanted to remove that, you could double click and it would remove the split. Now, if you wanted to, you could split it horizontally by placing your cursor here in row one, meaning your top row, and then clicking the split button would allow you to split it essentially horizontally. So again, we have one scroll bar here and one scroll bar here. And it is very possible to look at the same set of data. So if I were to select this, and change it. So we could even change it to 756B65. You'll notice that those changes are made permanent in both cell. So essentially I just have a split screen. If I were to give it red text, you'd see it appear in both, um, both cells. So a second option that you can go ahead and do is you can remove that split by double clicking in between the two and then it's back to normal. But you can actually end up splitting your screen into four different areas. So if you wanted to split something horizontally, you would make sure that your cursor is in the first column here in column A and go to split. That would split it horizontally if you wanted or rather vertically. If you wanted to split it horizontally, you make sure that your column here is in the top row and go to split, and that would split it vertically. We can remove that by double clicking. What people often find a little bit troublesome, particularly if they do it on accident, is if your active cell is anywhere but that top row or but that first column. And when you go to split, say our, uh, our active cell here is in D7, when we go to split, it's going to split it into four individual screens. So we have an individual screen here, an individual screen here, an individual screen here, and an individual screen here. And it can be really, really kind of disconcerting when you try and scroll and look at your individual data with one of these individual items. So some people like it because you could technically 
go ahead and look at the, the first cell in your range, as well as then the last cell in your, uh, in your range or even in your worksheet. But for me, it just seems a, a little bit too convoluted, a little bit too uh, complex. So generally I would stay away from splitting, but if I'm gonna split my screen, I'll either split it horizontally like that or vertically. Now you can remove either of these splits by clicking in between the actual split. So if we were to click here or double click here, it would remove the split. So kind of in summary, my preference, at least personally, is to freeze panes, maybe freeze rows, top row, first column. But some people like splitting. If you wanna split vertically, you would place your cursor here in the first column and then go to split. I would split it. If you want to remove it, you would double click. If you want to split it horizontally, you'd make sure that your cursor here or your active cell is in the first row and you would go to split. Otherwise, if you were to have your cursor or your active cell somewhere else and you go to split, you'd have a four way split and then you'd have to remove those splits independently. So with that, in our next video, we're going to go ahead and look at the idea of displaying multiple workbooks or worksheets within Microsoft Excel and how you can think about doing that. So join us for that in the next video and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.